bringing old ships to life. Hello everybody, it's Jamie from Old Shipping Lines and welcome back to a new video. Now in the video of today we shall talk about the Italian ship, uh, the sinking of the SS Principessa Giollanda. Now for those who don't know, uh, this ship kind of hits home. Uh, I myself am a Italian who lives in the Netherlands, so uh, again, this ship uh, hits quite home. So with that out of the way guys, uh, let's begin with of course her specifications. Now the ship was ordered for the Navigazione Generale Italiana or the Italian General Navigation Co. For if you didn't know any Italian. Now the company itself was one of the most famous Italian shipping lines at the time. Two of their famous ships were the SS Giulio and the SS Giulio Cesare. Now back to the Yolanda. The Yolanda was to be the lead ship of a class of two ships. Her younger sister ship being the SS Principessa Malfalda. And both being virtually identical. And Malfalda would suffer a gloomy fate, when in 1927 a major water leak of cold ocean water when made contact with the burning hot boilers caused an explosion, sinking four hours later. But that is a story for another time. The Yolanda was built by the shipbuilders Cantiere Navale Co. in Riva Trigoso and would measure 147.9 meters in length, 16.9 meters wide and a draft of 10 meters. She had two three-cylinder quadruple expansion engines to a double shaft and she would produce a speed of 16 knots and she would have a tonnage of 9.210 gross registered tons. The ship was designed to be one of the best Italian ships to have ever touched the sea, being installed with the Marconi radio system, which was still quite new to the seas. She was also fitted with electric lights and telephones in each cabin. As the day of launching came closer, and the ship being fitted out right on the slipway, she was seen to enter service not long after lunch, as the company wanted to showcase their new ship to the world as soon as possible. And lunch day finally came on September the 22nd, 1907. Large crowds of locals, journalists from all around the world and even government officials were there to witness history. And history it would be. At around 12.25, the ship began moving for the first time down the slipway, as crowds cheered and the stern created a large wake while coming down, her propellers turning around and water splashing out. But things were about to take a turn. Once the Yolanda was afloat, she immediately took a heavy list to port side. And the cheers turned to horror, as disaster unfolded before their very eyes. The starboard anchor was dropped in an attempt to counter the weight, but it was futile. The list grew worse as portholes that had yet to be fitted, as well as core hatches, were allowing water to pour into the ship. But this was also included to the fact that the ship had been furnished before launched. All the loose objects crashed down, putting more weight to the port side. Not even by the hour's end the ship heeled over and sank in the harbour at around 
An investigation was launched into the ship's sinking, and it's been theorized that, in short, the sudden change of movement, plus the unusually long slip into the water, caused the ship to break, the slip resulting in a major list, though the full responsibility of the sinking was due to the shipyard's technical mistakes and is not of the ship's design nor construction error. And that is the end of a video. Sorry if the uh, pictures were a little bit repetitive, but then again, this ship had an extremely short life. Um, so there aren't many pictures of her. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video though. I certainly loved making this. Uh, this shipwreck is well known in the maritime world of Italy. So I thought I would share this sinking with you guys as well. Uh, I quickly want to thank all the people who have recently subscribed to my account. That really means a lot. And uh, I'm just, like I always say, blown away by how many of you guys like my content. It really means a lot. Now, if you have friends who like ships or ocean liners, please show them my channel. We are now trying to reach the 700 subscribers and we are getting very close, my friends. So um, if you also have some thoughts or comments about this ship, please leave them in the description down below. I love reading your comments and I reply to each and every and every one of them. So uh, with that out of the way, guys, Thank you again so much for watching and I wish you a good night or day wherever you are and we will see each other on the next video. Goodbye. Follow old shipping lines on social media. Thanks for watching.